WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, is a fighting game from Midway, released in arcades in 1995, with home ports following the very same year. The game takes the fighting elements from the Mortal Kombat series of games, mixes in some wrestling staples, and adds an NBA Jam style presentation over top to create a unique fighting game experience. WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, is fairly straightforward. Select one of eight real-world WWF superstars from 1995 and choose one of two tournaments to compete in, the Intercontinental Championship or the WWF Championship. From here, you progress through seven rounds of fighting and win the belt. Most battles are not a simple one-on-one -on -one fight, but rather have you fighting against up to three wrestlers at once, adding to the challenge. The final round of the WWF Championship is a full gauntlet against all the characters in the game. The actual combat is fast and fluid. As one would expect from a wrestling game, you can wander around the ring and are not limited to a single plane of movement. There is a dedicated run button, you can bounce off the ropes and even climb the ropes for some aerial maneuvers. Other than these few touches, WWF WrestleMania mostly feels like a standard fighting game. Rather than slow grappling mechanics, the game focuses on punching, kicking, and blocking. Using a 6-button Genesis controller, there are two kicks, two punches, a block, and a run button. The super punch and super kick offer more power compared to the regular punch and kick at the expense of being somewhat slow. It's a bit tough for me to give you an in-depth analysis on the gameplay since 2D fighters are far from my area of expertise, but we've got to start somewhere, I suppose, so here we go. The main emphasis with the combat is timing your attacks and your blocks. Timing both correctly will not only allow you to get a hit in first, but will also allow you to perform counters when an opponent is attempting to attack you. The instruction book does give some special moves performed by a couple presses on the D-pad, followed by an action button, but generally, these felt slow and were often countered by my opponent. There is some situational awareness needed for their maximum effectiveness, but overall, they didn't feel terribly necessary. Still, after an extended playthrough, the overall game mechanics feel very fluid and super responsive, making WWF WrestleMania the arcade game a satisfying experience. My only real gripe is with the lack of diversity. All eight wrestlers feel very similar. They have different stats for strength, speed, and the like, but they all play functionally the same. I haven't played any other version of WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, so I can't say if this is a big leap above the Genesis or SNES version, but taking it on its own, this is a solid looking 32X game. First, the character sprites are massive and detailed. I'm not usually one for digitized graphics, but the character sprites here look fairly good, and more importantly, the animation doesn't look too disjointed. Someone incorrectly updated Wikipedia, indicating the Sega 32X version of WWF WrestleMania runs at 30 frames per second, but this is 100% false. The game runs at a full 60 frames per second and is silky smooth. Rounding out WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game is the excellent presentation. Not only do the graphics and gameplay make this much quicker than a typical wrestling game, there are plenty of little touches that put the feel of the game over the top. Instead of sweating or bleeding, characters leak out objects like hearts and other things representing the specific wrestlers. Additionally, there are supernatural things that occur, like the Undertaker shooting out smoke, Razor Raymond's arm turning into a blade, and Doink the Clown wielding a mallet. Matching the over-the-top ring antics are the sound effects. For a cartridge-based game, this sounds terrific. The stage music is great, the sound effects pack a punch, and the announcers are crisp and clear, lacking the over-compressed sound usually associated with the Sega Genesis. Finally, there is two-player multiplayer, allowing you to battle a friend or play cooperatively. But as noted before, there is still a lack of variety in the game modes. Overall, I rather enjoy WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. Sitting down and playing through the seven-round tournament is a ton of fun. The gameplay is smooth and responsive, though a touch on the shallow side. The excellent graphics and mid-90s midway charm really set this game apart from most wrestling games of the era. Most importantly, this is a fun game. 3 out of 5.